Okay, so now I'm on floor two, and the difficulty of the mobs are, is going to be a lot higher now. Um, I'm going to have to play a lot more carefully. So I get a new talent. These talents are a lot better than the floor one talents. 30 gold, that's pretty good. Could use another action. But I really think I want equipment slot. Two equipments, I really need to start with one of those in play. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, which one do I want to start with? Um, I want to start with the skim tar. Doing three immediately, it's going to be really powerful. So basically all the mobs are starting with three less health. Then hopefully I draw the great bow pretty soon after. Okay. Hopefully I draw that backstab. I'm really not picking up a second backstab now actually, the way my deck is turning out. Okay, so we get the equipment in play. Oh, that's sad. So he countered my alacrity. Um, but I still should be able to do a little bit of damage to him. Alright, that fight was pretty rough. I took 16 damage. That's kind of, kind of a lot. You can't really take that much damage from each fight. So I have some shops. I probably don't have enough gold for anything. So I'm just exploring the map, seeing what my options are. So I'm about to level up, and you full heal on leveling up, so... I just need to make sure I kill this guy without dying. Should be possible. Um, here's a dice. I really want this card. So I need to make sure I save up for this card. 55 gold. Alright, that's my next thing I'm going to buy. So this is like backstab, but twice as good. Okay, so hopefully I beat this harpy. Well, that's not a good start. The protein did not go off. So I'm going to use my combat ability, just to be safe. Hmm. I forgot the harpy does a lot of poison damage, so my combat ability wasn't very helpful. Alright, get that great bow in play. That'll give me some good damage. Ah, oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Can't play the swiftness amount of actions. Wow. This fight was pretty close. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Five health and poison too. Yeah. It was down to the wire. Okay, so now level six I get a new combat ability. That's pretty good. And now I need to decide, do I want seven health or do I want to delete and attack one card? Um, hmm. Let's see, I have four attack ones. Hmm. Seven health is kind of a lot. I don't have any defense right now, so my defense is basically just being able to take punches to the face, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Goblin Hoarder. He's only level four. I'm level six now, so I should be able to take him. Also, I have so many um, different sources of damage that each time he plays this, it's going to be against a different source of damage, so he's going to run out of that card really quickly. Okay. Well, hopefully the protein goes off. Oh, and it does not. But he hasn't started running yet. The running is random, so I got a little bit lucky. Should be able to kill him this turn. Let's see. How much can you prevent? Nope, he's out of them. Alright. Fine treasure is ready again. 54. Oh, one off from getting that dice. I wish. Wow, look at this treasure chest. It's like a gold mine in here. I get some gold and a free equipment slot. Wow, that does not happen every day. So that free gold's gonna let me buy that dice. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, so let's go ahead and well. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get that dice. It's really good. So I use a health pack. That's kind of useless, but... My deck is going pretty well right now. It's starting to take shape. Um, I didn't know how it was going to work out in the beginning. It was a little... a little slow to start. I had all those bad treasure chests on floor one. Huh. So he is preventing physical damage by one, which makes my great bow useless and my slices do nothing. Mm. Ok, 
Okay. Should be able to kill him this turn, but I'm gonna take some damage. There we go. A treasure chest. Alright, let's make it as good as the last one. Come on. Troll hide, huh? That's okay, but kind of the name of the game for my deck is to kill him as fast as possible. I don't really have a lot of turns to sit around and gain two health. I probably just wanna, you know, hit him for some damage rather than heal like two or four health or however much that's gonna heal me. Health back, I need that. Ooh, another treasure chest. Anything good? Um, so this is a spell card. It costs two mana. I have exactly two mana, but mana doesn't regenerate at the start of each turn. So I could only cast this once. Ow! What is that? I got jumped. So some of these cats are sneaky. They just jump you. I don't really like that. I like being the one doing the jumping. It's kind of a weak turn. I really don't want to give him a lot of turns, so let's go ahead and use this cooldown. I have dice, so I know I'm going to do a good bit of damage. It's a little bit weak, but I should be able to kill him on this one. There we go. And then that backstab should finish him off. There we go. With lots of room to spare. So hopefully I don't get jumped again. I'm kind of low on health. I still have one cooldown up, so I'm not completely defenseless. Hmm. Priests are kind of mean. They don't just preach to you. They also show you who the boss is. So I'm going to fight this other one, the brownie. Brownies can be really scary if your deck's all attack cards, but I do have other sources of damage, so I'm not too scared. That's a pretty good first turn. Three action cards and a dice. A lot of those attacks got dodged, but it's only attack one. Okay, what can I do? So I'm trying to make sure I play things in the right order now. Notice how I'm playing my swiftness first because they gain me net actions. Um, whereas my slices just lose me actions. So that should be enough to kill her. Um, as long as everything doesn't get dodged. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. Alright. So that did it. Now I need to kill one more guy to level up and that'll get me back to full health. I have some gold again. I don't know if I want a second dice. I kind of want to fuel the combo a little bit more. Jabs and bleeds both fuel it really well because they deal damage and they're going to get a great bow proc and they're going to draw me a card, gain me an action. This poisons them, which is good because it'll give me another, a different source of damage. Huh. So here's an altar. Altar to Gauss. Let's investigate. Mm. So it says a bunch of stuff. Um, so when you first visit these altars, up to here is all you see. But since I've seen it before, it says a faint memory tugs it at my mind. And I remember that it lets me draw an additional card and add curses to my deck. So I've seen this before. It adds four curses to my deck, which do nothing. They're the only thing worse than attack ones. But instead of drawing three cards a turn, I'm going to draw four. Mm. So let's come back to it. Let's see how many cards I have in my deck. 17, but two of them are equipment, so 15. Um, yeah, that should be good. That should give me uh, net value. Okay, do I want this health pack, or do I think I can beat the priest on 16 health? Do I have my cooldown? It would be really embarrassing to die to him when I have that health pack. Earth Elemental level 7? Nah. I'll wait for him. Let's go ahead and fight the priest. Well, let's check these shops one more time. Make sure I'm powerful. Hamstring's a pretty good defensive card. Uh, I don't think the priest really has a lot of actions. So I'm going to skip that. We have Bleed. So Strike is a really good card, um, but you need a ton of actions to play it. And I haven't really run into any actions this game, so I have to avoid it. But 15 damage for just one card, that's amazing. Mm, so I want bleed. Yeah. I think I want this bleed. 
Well, I'll save gold. I feel, I feel like I'm going to find one more shop, and it might have some really sweet card in it. And I want to make sure I have enough money for that card if I find it. So I have both my cooldowns up. Um, but I know the priest, he, he does a lot of damage, but usually not in turn one. So it should be safe this turn. So he put up a ward for 8 damage, preventing 8 damage, so it doesn't seem like it did a lot this turn. Um, he's got a prayer, prayer of wrath. This is going to do a ton of damage in 3 turns. 15. So I need to make sure I kill him before that. I should be able to. But let's see, he might heal for a lot. Puts up another ward. Hmm. Okay. So I'm slowly getting through them. Huh. So I think I'm going to go up, uh, put up my shield. I know this still has two turns left on his Prayer of Wrath, but he has cards that can reduce the cool the countdown of this. So if he played one of those, I would be in for it. He didn't play it though, so I'm safe. I'm just going to cruise to victory. Alright, fine treasure is ready. Huh, so level 7, I draw additional cards, now I'm drawing 5 per turn. That's really good. My consistency should go up really high, and so should my damage. Um, my deck's kind of a little weak right now, though. Strike, I don't have 4 actions, so there's no way I can say that, so let's go ahead and upgrade. I'm going to upgrade these two. The reason I don't want to upgrade these is because I'd like to just delete them, so I'll try and get these as high as I can, and maybe if with some luck I would delete the rest. Oh, let's find treasure. Something good, come on. Jab is good. I'll definitely take a jab. Okay. Hmm. So... I know I need to fight the boss soon. And I need to make sure I'm at full health for the boss. So I'm trying to think if I should explore. Maybe the boss is down here. I'll go ahead and try and fight this guy. Try and kill him quickly. I'll give him one turn. I could have probably killed him that turn if I had used this before I used my dice, but... Ouch. Poison 10. Alright, I definitely have to kill him this turn, so I'll blow everything to do it. So... Let's get as many actions as I can. Go through as much of my deck. Ah, that's pretty weak. But that's actually just enough. Perfect. Okay. Yes. So I only took 10. That's pretty good. Oh, and double health packs. Triple health packs. Wow. What is going on? Huh. The hag. Oh, here we go. There's a card that I definitely want. So this lets me draw an additional card each turn and get an additional action. It's kind of the best equipment I could possibly have. I'm two gold shy. So if the hag isn't, uh, the hag doesn't haggle me too much, I should be able to get it from her. She has 60 health though, wow. Um, I need to make sure this turn counts. Let's go ahead and blow through this. So um, I'm going to play my dice before my backstab because this gives me an extra action card to play so my backstab does as much as possible. Ouch. So she has a really mean card. Deadly Curses. Places three cards in my hand with curses. It's pretty sad. So I have a ton of curses in my deck right now. Hopefully she doesn't draw that again. Speak of the devil. Holy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well then. I'm going to be using those health packs. Alright. If I get a, a little bit of a breather. Got to kill her this turn though. And I think I'll be good. Yep. That should be enough. So, all my slices and jabs are really hitting hard because of the great bow. But she gave me a treasure chest, not gold. That's really sad. I needed two gold. Hmm. That equipment's good. 
This is good, but you kind of need some extra dodge to make it really worthwhile. If I had a free equipment slot, I would play it, but both my equipment slots are taken up by something useful right now. So 10% chance of dodging is really low. Alright, let's explore. There's the boss, so I guess he wasn't down here. The Kraken. Hmm. Look how many tentacles he has. Let's see what's down here. Oh, one more guy. How greedy am I? Let's look in the treasure chest first. Destroy an equipment card. I know the Kraken doesn't have an equipment card. He doesn't have any. But the Thief does. So the question is, do I want the Crush for the Thief? Hmm. I really need to kill the Thief without taking too much damage. Well, I think it's going to be worth it. Let's see. Oh. He runs the first card, so I need to make sure I run attack one into that. Alright, well that was a okay turn one. Um, I'm trying to think, if I use this, then I can't use it for the Kraken. So I'm trying to think who will do more damage in a turn. I think the Thief has more damage potential, so let's use it right now. Yeah, I'd say that was probably a decent decision. And with any luck, I can kill him this turn. No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. That's sad. If I kill him that turn, then I would heal by two health packs right back up to full. So now I'm going to be less than full for the boss. Oh god, that was terrible. Alright, so now we kill him. Maybe there's some health packs behind him. Well, there's a lemonade stand. Linda's Lemonade. Linda, the seller of all sorts of delicious and tasty drinks. So she lets you buy health, mana, and experience. So normally I would just get health. I would just snag up health immediately because it's really good. And the first one's free, but then she's going to start charging you. But right now this is kind of a special situation. I'm really low. I have to be full health to fight the boss. So I can buy four experience, so we'll do that. That's free. And now she's charging me. But I have enough gold for that, and I can still buy those boots of speed. This is going to level me up. There we go. Now I'm full health, and I'm level 8. Now I should have a good advantage in the boss. So sidestep. Hmm. So this card's pretty good to double my dice damage. But since I have Great Bow, it's not going to work. That combo doesn't work. Expose, on the other hand, this is perfect. I play an Exposed and all my Great Bow procs and jabs are doing a bunch of damage. Exposed is exactly the card I want on my deck right now. So I'll pick that up. Pick up these Boots of Speed. Now, um, hmm. let's remind myself what was in all these chests. Troll Hide. And it's okay. I might actually add that. That might be good for fighting the boss. That's also probably good for fighting the boss. Hmm. The bosses are really hard, and sometimes you need to artificially enhance your deck as much as possible to beat them. So I probably definitely don't want the Bracer. But... Hmm. So I do have 8 gold. That's enough to get some health. And 5 health is really a bargain, so let's do that. Let's take a look at my deck. There's four curses, boy. I'd do anything to get rid of those right now. Um, what do I want to be drawing? So I definitely want Boots of Speed in my opening hand, because that's going to let me draw an extra card. And then the question is, do I want Great Bow or Dancing Scimitar? I think I want the Scimitar. Hmm. This fight's going to be really hard. Uh, I might not be able to survive the Kraken. So I need to just load up my deck with as much power as possible. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the troll hide. It might be a longer than normal fight. And the frost shape. Yeah, I need as much defense as possible. So the Kraken, his special ability is he only lets you play three or maybe four cards a turn. So I can't really combo really hard. 
Um, I kind of have to choose which cards I want to play wisely. So this turn I'm just going to run out these cards. Okay, and then this turn, um, this turn I'll run out the dice and backstab. So let's run out the circle. Great bow is great because it doesn't count against um, that limit. And then we'll do alacrity. And he's going to cancel my fourth card, so I'll make sure that's an attack one. Alright, let's get this troll hide out there. Try and get some defense going. Hmm. So I only get to play one more card. I guess we'll have it be backstab. Um, maybe I'll just... Yeah, I'll get rid of one slice. Okay. So Expose is going to be pretty good. So this is probably going to be my best turn. It's still not going to be spectacular, but... Um, let's get rid of this guy, this guy. Have this guy be eaten by the Ink Spray. Okay. I drew my troll hide again really early. That's really good. So I'm going to heal four turns, so I should have some decent survivability. I'll save my expose for next turn. Let's just hit him with the attack four. Um, let's see if the swiftness draws anything. Uh, nope, attack one will just kill that. So now I'm healing four turns, so I'm really surviving quite nicely. Um, let's hit him with the expose. Jab. Um, hmm. And then circle. Yep. Then my attack one will be eaten. I should have tossed this attack one. That was a mistake. Oh well. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. The So I barely survived this fight. So right now I'm at 12 health. I've definitely gained way more than that off of the troll hide. So that troll hide saved my ass. There we go, I did it! Floor 3, here we come! Awesome. Find treasures ready. Um, I'm not going to use it just yet, I want to save it to floor 3, because I think, I might be wrong, but I think how good it is corresponds to what floor you're on. So, I'm really low and I'm one fight off of leveling up, so let's pick up these health packs. Um, and let's visit the shops one last time before we bid floor 2 farewell. Floor 2 treated us pretty well. Our deck really took shape. Hamstring's a pretty good card. Mm. I'm trying to think if I want the hamstring or another jab. Yeah, I probably want this hamstring. One, one moral of this game I've always learned is you never really regret taking up defensive cards. They always turn out to save your butt. So, floor three, let's do it.